This thing has been sitting around my shop collecting dust for far too long when it should have been right above my work area collecting dust. This is the G0738 hanging air filter from Grizzly Industrial. This thing is hopefully going to improve the dust system here in my shop. Now, when I speak of dust systems, you have a typical dust collector or you should connect it to any one of your machines that you're running in your shop at any time. This should be part of that system as well. I'm gonna show you what's inside, what they're used for and why they're important in your shop and there might be something special at the end of this video. Stay tuned. So before I go and hang this up in my shop, I'm gonna explain here real quick what a hanging air filter actually does. What you see here is actually where the remote receiver and all the readout is on this end. Well, this is actually the exhaust side. So this is where all the clean air comes out. Now the business end is actually on the other side where you'll see the primary filter, the large particulate filter. Let's flip it around. So this is a primary filter that just grabs the larger particulate, stops it from hitting the inner one and clogging it up. The inner one is hiding right there, it's, and it's actually two. So that is one micron filtration right there, and those are also replaceable. The manual says you can get them on grizzly.com. You can just have to check those pretty regularly. Now beyond that is what they call a squirrel cage style motor system. So the fan that actually impeller system that actually pulls the air through and into the machine. So that's a quick look at what's happening with this machine and how it's drawing air in and puking it out back into your shop. Now for a shop of my size, um, I think it's 22 by 22, this should be able to recirculate the air in my shop seven times per hour. There's a calculation which I'll put up here that is in the Grizzly manual. Tells you some basic notes you can add based on the size of your shop and the CFM of your machine and it helps you calculate how much air could be moved through in any given hour of operation. So you can check that out before, you know, to figure out what size machine you want to uh, be hanging around your shop. All right, so what are some considerations to have before hanging one of these air filters? Well, for one thing, it's where you're going to be primarily working. So my main space, actually right here where this table is, is one of my main areas in this shop. Now that means I wanna position that filter pretty much straight above here. And I want that air to flow in a circular pattern. So I'll show the drawing of that right now from the top view. Now that means you don't wanna go placing it in a corner cause obviously it has an exhaust. So it's gonna be puking air into the corner and that doesn't do you any good. Other considerations here is this area is also where I in my small shop, feed my plywood into my table saw. So an eight foot sheet of plywood, I don't wanna be standing that up and having it just rock this thing every time. So I gotta make sure that it is eight feet and a eight and a half feet above me or so. I also will want it a certain distance from the wall so I can have that circular effect. So that means going to my trusses, pre-drilling and placing those hooks that are included right where I need it Look, if these manly hands can't get any tighter than that, it ain't coming down. That's a joke. I have really wussy office hands. All that said, that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. The manual even tells you that you don't want anything in front of or behind the machine within three feet. So it has plenty of circulation. So keep that in mind. Let's hang this up. As you can see, I have the chains hanging. So I have drilled into my trusses above and now I'm ready to go. So they're equally spaced more or less and I have run them long. So you don't have to cut them right to length because that requires math and I'd probably get it wrong anyways. Now it's time to hang this thing up and I'll cut off some excess just to make it look pretty and get the right height I want. And it's time to hang the filter. So prepare to watch me struggle. But before we do, one consideration that you wanna keep in mind is where power is located. Cause this thing has about a six foot extension cord. I just so happen to have my light bar set up, plugged into power right up here. So it's within reach. That helps a lot. Watch me struggle. So as you're watching me struggle with this hanging air filter, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you think I'm gonna win. All right, I'm gonna call that a draw. That thing, that was an epic fight. I'm gonna adjust these things a little bit more and then cut off the excess, but not my best moment.
All right, I am stoked to have this guy as part of my dust collection system here in my little shop. And if this seems like a good fit for your shop, you can go to the description below and hit the link that'll take you to this product page on grizzly.com. During checkout, you can enter the code RIVER10 and save 10% on that machine right there. If you got something cool from this video, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos right here in my little shop. Back to work though.